Also now, our Jacob Reynolds takes a closer look at the number of cases and what the Centers for Disease Control has to say about it. I wanted to break down what information we learned in that media call with the Centers for Disease Control this week. They say they have 62 confirmed cases in 22 states, and those 62 cases come from 127 they're investigating. Now, the director for the CDC's National Center for Immunizations and Respiratory Diseases, Dr. Nancy Messonnier, says there's still a lot about the disease they don't know. We don't know who may be at higher risk for developing NFM or the reasons why they may be at higher risk. And we don't fully understand the long-term consequences of AFM. We know that some patients diagnosed with AFM have recovered quickly, and some continue to have paralysis and require ongoing care. According to that same CDC phone briefing, 90% of acute flaccid myelitis cases are in patients 18 years old or younger. The average is four years old. The CDC says this year's breakout is similar to breakouts in 2014 and 2016, with most of those cases coming in the late summer and fall. So far since the CDC started tracking the disease in 2014, one patient died in 2017. Dr. Messonnier urged parents to be calm. As a parent myself, I understand what it's like to be scared for your child. Parents need to know that AFM is very rare, even with the increase in cases that we're seeing now. In the newsroom, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. And tonight, the CDC is urging parents to seek medical care right away if you or your child develop sudden weakness of the arms or legs.